Good morning. It is a great honor to be invited to speak at the Fourth New Economy Forum. On behalf of China Center for International Economic Exchanges, I'd like to extend warm congratulations on the opening of this year's forum. This world is now undergoing changes unseen in a century. The pandemic is still spreading around the world. Global industry and supply chains have been hit badly. The trends of protectionism and unilateralism are on the rise. What economy performance look warmly, and international economy, science and technology, culture, security, and politics face profound changes. By adopting pandemic control and prevention measures in line with national conditions, China is among the first batch of countries worldwide to step out of the shadow of the pandemic. Resuming to normal life and production and realizing constant and stable economic growth. For the first nine months this year, compared with that of last year, China's GDP and the total value of import and export increased by 9.8% and 22.7% respectively. But at the same time, China also faces pressures like pandemic resurgence in certain areas, weak momentum in economic development, and rising price of bulk commodities. In the new historical phase, Chinese government put forward development concepts of innovation, coordination, green growth, opening up, and sharing. We prioritize innovation as major strategy for economic development, encourage inventions by scientists and companies, enhance intellectual property protection, facilitate transformation of research outcomes, and spare no efforts to keep our economy on the path of high-quality development. China's innovation is an indispensable part of global innovation. Recent years have been witnessed the prosperous development of a pharmaceutical industry in China, as numerous small and medium-sized biopharmaceutical companies that are innovation-based spring up fast. In 2020, there were 1,865 financing projects in the health sector, worth of 565.5 billion yuan of social investment. For its first 10 months this year, the number was 1,871 and 327.7 billion yuan, respectively. Since 2018, Hong Kong exchanges and the Premier Market and Shanghai Stock Exchange have launched the Biotech Board and Sciotech Innovation Board, respectively, and Beijing Stock Exchange was established recently. All these have injected new impetus to China's innovation. Profound changes faced by the world today bring out not only new challenges, but also new opportunities. As innovation plays a more and more important role in promoting the development of the economy and the society, we should seize the historical chance, conform to the trend of the times, and lead the new era of world economy with innovation.